It's noon time, new time. Boop. All right, let's click on over. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is being groovy to one another. Hope everyone's having a damn good new year so far. Hey, look at me in the reflection. Hi. Hey, what's up, Jay? How are you? Always be good to see you. It's always good to have you on the show joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See how this looks. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Jay, how's your day going by? Is it flying by? Hopefully it's not creeping. Hopefully it's just flying by. Oh, good. Okay, let's see how this looks. Wow, there is a heck of a delay. Okay. Time for shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you, Landon. How was your weekend, by the way? Uh, like I said, I didn't see you on Monday. Um, well, of course I couldn't see you on Monday. It's a little different. Busy as hell. You got a break coming in, dude? I hope so. You're, you're always, like, working hard, Jay. You know? Hopefully uh, they give you some some time off. <laughs> how's the family too? Both of you, Landon and Jay, how's the family doing? Hope they are well. Jay, uh, I hope you saw the uh, reply Jimmy sent in regards to your comments to the YouTube show. So yeah, it's going to be a little different format. Um, if we can make it similar, so because I like seeing you guys comment amongst each other. Because there's a lot of really good jokes. Um, so I totally see it. But if we can make it similar, we will. But it looks like with it being a different platform, it might be um, definitely something different. But Jimmy and I are still going to make it fun. Uh, and it's fun to have Jimmy as a cameraman, controller in the background. He's really busted his butt to learn this uh, tech and all the equipment he's got. And all these new programmings for editing and, and doing the scrolls. So it's amazing. Are you kidding me, Jay? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me guess. All the people that complain about hours, and when you offer the hours, you never hear from, oh, I can't do it this week. I always hated that. That was my biggest pet peeve when it came to uh, working. Uh, and the people that always wanted out more hours, and when I offered it to them, just... No, I can't do it this week. It's like, well, I, I don't need the extra hours next week, so boo-hoo. But yeah, uh, that was the one thing I, I definitely didn't like when I was a manager, uh, especially when I had people out sick. Yep, see? It's true. It, it is totally true. And it, I don't know what it is, but those are the people I tend to be like, okay, I offered the hours. You turned it down. Maybe I'll turn back your hours more. I don't know. Let's try to, it's, it's, you know, you got to be as fair as you can be. And, um, you know, hopefully you have at least one or two people that are definitely uh, well worth the, uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's always amazing when your thing is buzzing in your hand and you're not expecting it. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Anyways, um, yeah, I, it, it's, it, it's probably the most frustrating thing uh, with management, so. Hopefully you can get some employees that are willing to step up and back you up. So, anywho. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are enjoying your lunches right now or have enjoyed your lunch. Um, I am the Hooligan. Happy New Year. It is now, uh, what, January 8th, 12th, 13th? Oh, my gosh. This year's already flying by. We're already two weeks in, and I can't even remember the date. So, welcome, 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 everyone. This is the Catacombs here at the Sworn Nation. Everyone introduce yourselves to everyone else in the group. That's a fine, fancy group of people. They are really helpful if you're new to the group and are needing help finding things or have any questions on anything. This is the group to be in. This is the Sworn Nation, and the Sworn are probably the best group of comic fans, fiends, and the sworn you will ever meet. So introduce yourself. Don't be shy. They don't bite hard, and if they do, they do have all their shots. I should know. I'm one of them. Oh! Anyways, since things started, I went ahead and 
Got me, I found myself a couple more ash cans for you folks, and these ones are signed from back in the day. So I have a Lady Death Boundless debut ash can signed by Brian. There is a COA here. And I have a couple of these. And then I also have the Lady Death Boundless Philly Comic Con debut ash can. And the two copies I have are also signed. Let me see how that looks here in a minuity. Oh, hey, that looks good. No flare. Yay, no flare. So I have two new ash cans up there. Um, they are signed. There is COAs in them. Uh, all you got to do is grab them if you haven't already picked up some that um, you wanted to get signed. So either way, woohoo! I got um, some more stuff, new and old. We're mixing up, and I also want to show you guys um, for all these new viewers uh, some of these stuff that we do carry on the store, um, graphic novels, and kind of showing place uh, folks where to start off if they're new to Coffin Comics. Uh, um, it, does it offer, I know it doesn't offer out the, uh, things I know YouTube does, um, although it comes out funky because sometimes I'll view things, uh, with the, um, text or, yeah, Landon, um, I'm actually surprised that's not part of, uh, Facebook's algorithm. Uh, I'm hovering with my ear down next to my phone at work. <laughs> Ashley, that is awesome. Uh, if someone could take a picture of that and post it right now, I'd love to see it because that is cool. Thank you very much. Jeffrey Walsh is in the house, everybody. Hi, Jeff. Hope you and the family are well. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, yeah, Ashley, that's, uh, that is awesome. Oh, I take calls so live, Mike. Oh, that's horrible. Um, Landon, do you work in a uh, call center by any chance or just a regular office in a cubicle? Uh, next up, I have a Lady Death Boundless. This is a retailer premiere edition. Um, so I have a few of these available right now. Um, really affordable, only two, three bucks. It's not very pricey, but here you go. Ashley, that's even better. <laughs> All right, everybody. Props to Ashley Martinez. She has the most amazing quote and story so far of the day. Okay, response, by the way. Uh, the format is odd to me, but also don't know where I'm going to change either. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if everyone could share uh, their YouTube names, um, please definitely uh let us know uh, when you make comments. Say, hey, this is blah, blah, blah. I'm do do do. And Jimmy will post it up there. Um, like I say, it's a different format. It's definitely new. Um, we're still feeling our way around it. And that sounded really inappropriate again. I'm sure Jimmy's chuckling when he hears this one, if he's not already. So, anyways, um, yeah, we're definitely looking into making it um, a definitely a fun show. Uh, it probably will be slightly different than what you're all used to, like with here on Facebook, because we can interact more on Facebook, which I do like. Um, I do like on YouTube, and everyone can send me their questions, but it's definitely uh, a lot more fun um, interacting with you all like this. And I get it. I understand it. I love the interactions between you two, and that's part of, I think, what makes the show so exciting. Um, but we're figuring it out, and we'll get it taken care of. Oh, Ace. Ace just keeps it keeps it easy. Keeps it simple. Thank you, Ace. Good. Oh, by the way, Ace, um, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you are well, and I hope you had a great weekend. Another item that I have, with Lady Death Boundless, issue zero. I got quite a few of these folks. Uh, a lot of the things I'm offering today are very old school stuff from the early aughts to... Um, some more recent items as well. So I like to kind of mix it up and give it a mix of everything. <laughs> okay. My job. Oh, damn it, boss just called me this morning. Oh, Mark, it was nice to see you. Thanks for joining. <laughs> I like that. I feel like that bad influence in school where I got everyone getting in trouble with the teachers. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. 
Next up, I have uh, Lady Death Zero. This is the auxiliary cover. It was limited to uh, 2,000, and this is a beautiful, stunning cover. I only got a few of these, so um, don't him and haw. The price is really good, and quantities are very limited. So this beautiful piece can be yours for a very great price. So check it out. Click on the links. Everything you'll see here will be on the catacombs. And the stuff I'll be showing you later is stuff you can find over at the Coffee Comic Shop just by searching around. And if you guys have any questions on that, definitely uh, send them my way. All right. I've been holding back on this in case there was loss and damages. And this is for a very old retailer. Um, they actually uh, went under about 2015, 16. And they were really big all over the country. And that was Hastings. And I am very happy to show you I have one Hastings exclusive variant cover, Boundless Number Zero. I only have the one copy. Uh, I won't get in trouble for <laughs> watching the show. Ace, you're up to constant shenanigans. So this is the Hastings exclusive. I only have the one. That is it. I had a couple of these uh, that threw up on eBay and they went fairly quickly. Um, for those who know, Hastings was um, a chain that out here in Arizona, they were mostly in um, areas where there was like a community of just small towns. And they were almost like kind of like a quasi Zia record Spencer gift kind of thing. I never got to go in one, but a friend of mine did. Said they had a little bit of everything, comics, toys, records, you name it. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see one of these comes our way and... I remember, especially in the early beginnings of the internet, a lot of comic shops um, were doing exclusive covers for websites. Uh, I remember let's see, Tower Records had one for their website and just multiple stuff. It was really interesting to see uh, just how the market changed when the internet started exploding. So, And it's interesting today to see how much has changed even more. So it's been fun being a part of um, the comic industry and just watching it progressively grow and, and change and morph into what it is today. So uh, you guys want any fun stories? Uh, yeah, there is a black metal on here. <laughs> Jeff, there is one. I got it. I believe it's a number three. Right here, I am showing you the Boundless Issue Zero. This is the wraparound cover. I got quite a few of these. Josh Grimley is in the house, everybody. Everyone say hi to Josh. What's shaking? You ready to see what's shaking? That's shaking for you, Josh. Oh, bam! I bet I made you blush. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there goes that one. All right, for all you yo yo fans, you've heard the announcements. You've seen the thing, especially on the VIP. We've got some uh, great stuff coming our way for all you fans of yo yo. You know, I'm a big fan. I've really been. Uh, promoting the heck out of her stuff. I really love her style, and she's an amazing individual. So um, can't wait for everyone to meet her uh, here at Swarm Fest. But I'd like to show you. Boom! Right here, I have Lady Death the Reckoning number one, War Edition, covered by Yo-Yo, and it is a vault copy, and it is a number six. So I am offering a number six right now. Josh, I'm glad you liked it, and you have a good sense of humor. That was me making change. <laughs> ching chang. Let's see, let me check my time here. Okay, great. All right. And we got a publisher file in the house by Richard Ortiz. This is Lady Death Sworn. This is the Ortiz Premier Nice Edition. Only 40 copies were made. Don't worry, I'll put the sticker on there. Don't worry about it. I won't leave you in the dust. So. Some other item that you got right there in the house. Another very fun little combination I get here. I got the Swarm, McKay. We have the Naughty Edition, which is also another publisher file. See where I put my finger? I put my censorship fingers in the way. No, I think so. Yes. It does have the publisher file. Don't worry. I'll put that sticker on there for you, too. All right. Let's see what we got here. On the street to Yo-Yo's. Oh, dude, what? You I didn't know you were that close to Yo-Yo. Nice. Tell her everyone in the group says hello, and I'm really excited to seeing what she's got coming our way. So uh, she's just down the 
Let's give her all the uh, love from the Coffin Crew, the Sworn, and everyone else. Thank you, Josh. That's awesome. Check out my commission. Dude, I can't wait to see how those commissions turn out, Jeff. Um, I'm really excited. Thank you for uh, sharing the ones you've uh, received back from artists. Um, really gorgeous pieces. Um, and I can definitely see um, that you are uh, probably trying to collect just about anything uh, that's coming out. So keep it posing. Remember, guys, get original art from Coffin Comics artists. It's a great way to show your love and to show your true passion for all things Coffin. Next up, I have Lady Death Sworn number one. This is the McKay Premier Nice Edition. This is also a publisher file. I got one of these available today. Make a nice companion piece with the naughty. You have the nice and the naughty. Naughty meet nice, nice meet naughty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's all the gang. She's over here about two times a month for barbecue. Oh! Did you have to mention barbecue, Josh? Now I'm really hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. Mmm. And I think all I have is some vegetable lo mein. So, mm. definitely eat barbecue. And, uh, well, uh, it looks like someone may have already got it, but this is a number three. This is the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Black Metal Edition. This is a 9.8 Signature Series. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, dude, I'm really hungry. I wish I had barbecue. So I got one of these available, maybe. Uh, I, I will find out. Uh, but this is a number three. I will definitely be tipping in the COA for the customer that purchases this, uh, if it's still around. Next up, another graded book. I'm so happy that we got a graded editions, and I like to pepper them in with a little salt. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, this is Lady Death, All Hallows Evil, number one. This is the Hallow Wicked edition. And it is also a number three. Beautiful piece. And I love, absolutely love the back cover of that. Where it shows Brian with all the uh, horror and slasher characters that he wrote. Um, like I say, we still have some of these available. Uh, if you're fans of uh, slasher films, Brian wrote uh, some really cool stuff over the years. Uh, I will sometimes offer them here at the catacombs. Uh, if I have any available, so far everything I have put up, I'm pretty much out of, but definitely send any questions you have for me at inquiries at Coffin Comics. Uh, Moonshine Mel will be sending them my way. Um, so don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions on things that um, we've had in the past that maybe you dropped off just to see if I have stock and I'll see what I can do for you. So. Get it today, 9.8, beautiful. What? Time for another barbecue? Oh, God, yeah, bar stop talking about barbecue, man. Oh, I'm hungry. All right, DeValco fans, we got another great one here for you. This is the Blasphemy Anthem Naughty Edition. It is a mock-up. Booyah. Got one of these available. And that is the offerings over on the catacombs. Time I have. Yeah, stop laughing at me, Josh. I'm really flipping hungry now. <laughs> All right. You're making it worse, dude. I'm just wanting to eat more. I gotta add more fluff to this scruff. All right. So, for anyone who is a new viewer here, I just wanted to show you guys um, they have links uh, for the show. Catacombs, of course, if you want to pick up any of the selections. I have for you here today, and there's still some selections from Monday's show as well. Um, but also, we still have over at the Coffin Comic Shop, where I also have a link, this beautiful Lady Death Masterpieces, Art of Lady Death, Volume 1. Still got some copies of this. If you're a big fan of some beautiful art, and you love the artist, I made a challenge to a father and son at Tucson Comic Con last year. Uh, to see how many people they could get to sign their art books, their masterpieces. Uh, I believe the dad bought the signed limited edition and the son bought the regular edition. And they ran around the con together trying to find as many artists as they could to get as many signatures in this art book. Um, really great value, $79.99. It's beautiful slipcase, very good value. And not only that, I really love 
just the imagery inside of it. We've got stuff from Jay and Salito, uh, Mirka and Delfo, Archer, Jim Ballot, Eric Basaluda, Joe Benitez, Genevieve Brumel, excuse me, Brom, Ryan Brown, J. Scott Campbell, Greg Caputo, Elias Chetsu, Frank Cho, CC Dela Cruz, Del Balfo, Finch, uh, Brian Favey, uh, Ali Garza, Paul Green, David Harrigan, Greg Horn, Terry Huddleston, Adam Hughes, Stephen Hughes. It just keeps going. All of that beautiful art is contained in the Lady Death Masterpiece Volume 1. Really great value for a coffee table book. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. I'm not here. Okay. I'm new here. I'm not here. Oh, Ace, you're really confusing me. Also, another item we still have in the store, and these have been selling really hot. I think um, we have tables laid out for Brian to sign for all the orders that have requested signatures. And I am seeing a ton of more naughty books. Uh, so if you've been delaying on getting some more naughty, um, the signed special editions are gone, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, if there's some remaining, definitely check the store in case we have any remaining, but I have yet to find any. Um, not like they would go my way, because they go very quickly on the store. Um, but they do have Lady Death More Naughty. This is our newest art book. It is our um, third one in the Naughty line. And actually, we have a fourth art book called Homages, which I'll be showing you guys probably next week's show. So check it out, More Naughty. Um, to my knowledge, we are definitely out of the Don McTague cover if you're looking for the um, naughtier. I don't know if we have any of those left. But I had someone ask me, um, on, uh, sent me a message through the message board, was asking, hey, I'm kind of new to Coffin. I haven't, um, yeah, landed some great stuff. Um, I'm new to Lady Death. I, I need to get caught up because I've, I'm only familiar with the Chaos Era. We have the perfect books for you. Lady Death Rules Volume 1 is the first three chapters in the beginning of the Coffin Verse and the beginning of Lady Death's adventures in the Coffin Verse. She is the beginning of all things. This is where you're going to want to go. Chapters 1, 2, and 3. Really great deal. Right now, only hard covers are available. When soft covers for volume one become available again, we will definitely be making announcements. Which leads me to volume two hardcover, which same price as volume one, except there is four chapters in here. So between these two books, you can get, get yourself the first seven chapters of Lady Death and all things Coffin, and you get to see the beginnings of the Coffin verse form through these editions. And then you're like, where do I go from there? Well, we have chapter eight through 12 available right now. So don't delay if you're new to Coffin Comics, you're wanting to get caught up with Lady Death. I recommend Lady Death Rules volumes one and two. We have both available as hard covers. Soft covers right now, we only have volume two, but that is one stunning, beautiful cover by Ryan Brown. Just absolutely amazing. I wouldn't have thought this would have been a graphic novel cover. I would have thought that would have been for just a straight up exclusive, but um, this one, they decided to make that one of the Lady Death Rules soft covers. Beautiful, great job, Ryan Brown. All right, so we got art books. We got this universe growing with the likes of one of our newest characters, Hellwitch. Her first chapter is called Hellborn. We have tons of soft covers, maybe a few hard covers left if you are into collecting hard covers. So we do have Hellwitch chapter one, Hellborn. And also we have Hellwitch the Forsaken, chapter two. Right here, there's two editions. You have the standard edition and then you have the Hellfire edition. There's only 35 of the Hellfire ones. We are gonna be out. I only could find 35. Dakota said there's only 35 in the store, so. Very small production run. This is your main heavy hitter. These are chapter two of Hellwitch. <laughs> Hellwitch the Forsaken is chapter two of Hellwitch's story. So anyone who is a big Purgatory fan, I recommend Hellwitch. She's way more extreme than I think Chaos could ever have done. 
uh, with purgatory. So if you're wanting a nice, tough, badass female character that is just going to fight her way to the top, Hell Witch is the one for you. I highly recommend it. Everyone who has told me it shows that they were purgatory fans, I'm like, hey, try Hell Witch, and they've been very happy with the choice I gave them to try. So check it out. Another character to check out in the coffin verse, also at the coffin comic shop. Boom! No, the uh, Wednesdays, Mondays is exclusive to YouTube. Uh, Wednesdays will still be Facebook because I love the Facebook group. Um, and not only that, I get to interact with you guys. So, yeah. Gotta be. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I will get some lunch right after I'm done here. Get back to work. I never saw you slacking. I never seen you guys slacking. Right here, as I was talking about, this is Zach the Zombie Exterminator. He's also part of the Coffin Verse. I highly recommend picking up this book, especially if you like a lot of uh, very funny horror themed books, or stories, films, TV shows. I recommend Zach the Zombie Exterminator, and he's a member of the Swarm. I also have Zach the Zombie Exterminator. That was the uh, special edition soft cover, and I have hard covers available as well. The soft cover was limited to 200, so once those are gone, that's it. So, if you're ever picking up the new Lady Death stuff and you're seeing the sworn in here, it's like, whoa, who's this Zack and Zane guy? Well, this is the book you're going to need to get yourself started, so check it out, check it out. Also, another big character we have in our universe, I recommend highly, La Muerta. The first three chapters of her story will be in La Muerta Lives. Chapters four, five, and six are available individually in both soft and hardcover editions, and we also have comic book shop editions as well. So, if you have any questions, inquiries at coffincomics.com. If you have a question specifically towards me, definitely ask it and Moonshine Mel will forward it to me. I definitely love getting these messages and helping you guys out with stuff and answering all your questions. So I got a few more minutes, a couple more minutes, and one of the last things I wanted to show you guys, especially if you are new to Coffin Comics and the new um, Coffinverse we have forming, and you want to get caught up, you loved Chaos Comics, well, may I recommend Lady Death the Collection. These are 10 graphic novels collected in a beautiful store folio. Look at that. 10 books, all in one packaging, volumes 1 through 10. Really great price, and also it comes shrink wrap with some really cool little goodies, mini prints, uh, buttons, stickers, you name it, all the little fun stuff we can cram in a bag, cram it in here with your books. Uh, so that will do it with today's show. I want to thank everyone personally uh, for joining me, joining the uh, YouTube show on Monday. So remember, Monday is YouTube, Wednesday is the Sworn Nation Facebook page group. Um, it's been a lot of fun uh, doing this with you guys. I'm glad I'm continuing it here in the Sworn Nation. Um, stay tuned, guys. Sign up for the VIP's newsletter. We've got a lot of stuff coming your way, including those statues you guys have been all waiting for. They're in Phoenix. They're ready to arrive any day. We'll talk to you later, guys. I am sworn to you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Everyone have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys on Monday on YouTube. Hasta la bye-bye, everybody. Around, let's shut this off. Boom. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.